It's Saturday and here is your weather briefing video for August 26, 2023. Very hot through the weekend with some scattered storms, but our main focus is on the tropical system that poses a threat to the Gulf Coast. Here's what I have for you in today's video. We'll be swapping things up a little bit as we'll start off with the tropics. Invest 93L is looking much more organized this morning and further development is expected as environmental conditions will be favorable for development. A depression will be likely by the end of the weekend and tropical storm formation soon after. The ensembles are still showing a wide range of potential directions ranging from Pensacola all the way over to just north of Tampa Bay. Nearly every model keeps this system below hurricane strength due to increasing wind shear from an upper low, but we will have to watch because water temperatures are very warm, almost 90 degrees close to shore along the Florida Panhandle. Once this thing becomes better organized, we'll have a better idea on what to expect. The rest of the systems out there are not a threat to the United States. Tropical Storm Franklin will strengthen into a hurricane and will eventually curve to the northeast, but it will pass just to the west of Bermuda. Now for our weather. The ridge continues to slowly weaken across the area, which will allow for a few isolated to scattered afternoon showers and storms today. All of central Alabama is under a heat advisory today with highs reaching the upper 90s to the lower 100s and heat index values reaching as high as 109 degrees. A few storms may become strong to severe over the Tennessee Valley and the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk up for those locations. We'll have a surface front work through the area on Sunday that will bring an increase to shower and thunderstorm activity during the afternoon and evening and strong storms will be possible. The Storm Prediction Center has nearly the entire eastern half of the entire state under a marginal risk. Highs will be in the lower 90s to the lower 100s. Strong to severe storms will continue to be possible on Monday and nearly all of central Alabama is under a marginal risk as damaging winds and quarter size hail will be possible. Much of the activity will occur during the afternoon and evening hours, but there is a chance of scattered showers and storms during the morning as well. Highs in the mid 80s to the mid 90s. After that, the forecast gets a little unclear due to the approach of the tropical system. We'll keep a chance of isolated to scattered afternoon showers and storms in the forecast for Tuesday, with highs in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. Wednesday and Thursday will be the days we'll need to watch. The GFS has the system moving onshore near the Big Bend area of Florida and scooting into the extreme southwestern parts of Georgia. Then it is prog to turn more northeasterly and move into the Carolinas by late Thursday night. If this solution plays out, we'll have scattered showers and a little bit of a breeze, especially on Wednesday afternoon through early Thursday morning. Highs in the 80s to the lower 90s on both days. And at the end of the forecast period on Friday, the system will be out over the Atlantic and we look to have a dry day with warm temperatures, highs reaching the lower 80s to close to 90 degrees. That will do it for me today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless.